Hello. Welcome to this week's video post for nickfitnation.com e-cig video blog. Uh, this week we're going to be doing some maintenance, cleaning, quick little tour on this. Uh, we're talking about uh, 510 today. Um, three parts, battery, atomizer, cartridge. All three do a Need some maintenance, some cleaning. It's not crucial, but uh, you know I like to take care of my stuff. First thing we'll talk about is the connection between the battery and the atomizer. Uh, keeping that clean is obviously going to give you a better connection. The battery is pretty simple. There's a little dip in there on the 510. Paper towel. That's about all you need to clean these things. One of those. You'll find a little bit of a, kind of a black scum sometimes in there. So done. Same idea for the atomizer, uh, where it connects, give that a wipe like so, again, kind of gets like a little black little uh, circle there. Now atomizers can get little builds up of, of juices and gunk, uh, especially a guy like me who likes to rock a lot of different flavors. I've seen some other people out there uh, blowing on these things, running water through them, drying them with hair dryers, dipping them in vodka, uh, it seems a little over the top for me. Um, I found the easiest way to take it, take a paper towel, take some compressed air, and just give her a shot. See that? That's just some gunky old nicotine juice. And this basically just blew it all out. I will even take the paper towel and get in there and give it a little Also on the atomizers, if you're using a standard polyfill, uh, cheap stuff, you may find little bits of hair and stuff in there. You're going to want to um, basically pull that out with a paper clip. I don't have any of that because I'm strictly vaping on the Tetley uh, teabag mod now, or the Lipton teabag mod, uh, which is uh, our last video we just did this week. So you can uh, check that out down the, uh, down the side there on more videos. Uh, or right off our website at nickfitnation.com. Just click on the video tips and tricks there so you can see all of the videos that we've done. Uh, so this atomizer is nice and clean now. Um, sometimes it gets a little slime in the outside from blowing it off. Simple as that. We'll put that back. Leaves us with the cartridge. Now the cartridge, the fill inside will get a little scummy too, maybe every week or so. Um, no matter if you're using polyfill or the tea bag, basically you just take a paper clip, pull the fill out, uh, run it under some water, same difference, tea bag or, or fill, polyfill, just run it under water, wash it, stick it on a paper towel, let it dry. Uh, they dry on their own pretty fast or you can just pat it with a paper towel, that will get it pretty, pretty fast. Uh, when the fill's out, again take some paper towel, get in there give it a wash, you can wash it with water, just, just dry it before you use it. And there's one other little part to clean on this that many people might not, not know about. Uh, that is a little drip tray on the end and you can access that with, of course, your paper clip. There we go. It just kind of comes out. I've actually found the perfect way to bite on them to pop it out, but if you're going to do that, make sure it's not full of juice. It might taste gross. Uh, inside, there's just basically a little trap there. Uh, I guess, you know, a lot of vapor, some of it recondenses, and uh, sometimes you get a little drop in there. Uh, so all you do is just, again, take a paper towel, stick her in there, and give it a dry. Same for the little cap. Give that a wipe. And that... Uh, Pops right back in, like so. So clean cart, clean atomizer, clean battery, and uh, it's noticeable. Uh, it's it's a cleaner draw. That'll get you there. Thanks for tuning in again, and uh, we'll see you next week with another uh, tip or trick uh, in the world of e-cigarettes.